Hi, I'm Gino Chiapetta. This is my colleague, Dr. Matthew McDonald. We're both spine surgeons with the University of Orthopedic Associates, as well as assistant clinical professors with the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Rutgers Rob Wood Johnson. Today, we wanted to talk to you about cervical disc herniations. Uh, Dr. McDonald is going to talk to us about what exactly they are and what are the options for treatment. Yeah, so cervical disc herniations are very common. Uh, the discs are basically the cushions between the vertebrae and your neck. And if one of those discs becomes injured or aged due to the degenerative process, sometimes a piece of the disc material, like the jelly inside the donut, can kind of squirt out. And if it squirts into the spinal canal, it can either put compression on the spinal cord or pinch one of the spinal nerves that exits uh, the neck. And symptoms from it can be quite significant and sometimes debilitating. Patients will often have very severe neck pain. Commonly they'll present with symptoms of uh, radiating nerve pain traveling down the arm. Sometimes there's numbness, sometimes there's weakness. Uh, and sometimes there's even more global neurologic problems if the spinal cord itself is involved. Um, Usually, you know, treatment for cervical disc herniation starts with conservative things like med, medications to manage symptoms, therapy, time, sometimes cortisone injections help, but uh, a lot of patients do end up requiring surgery and surgical options for this condition are, are, are very, very good and maybe we could talk a little bit about those options with the, the viewers. So in terms of cervical surgery, there are different options, either anterior from the front of the neck or from the back of the neck. The vast majority of surgeries are done from the front of the neck, which is very advantageous because the recovery is very quick. The surgeries can be done in one hour, approximately for one disc. The options are either cervical fusion or called an ACDF or cervical disc replacement. There are certainly advantages and disadvantages to either surgeries. Um, one option may not be great for everyone. That's why we take great time to discuss uh, patient symptoms, to review their x-rays, review their MRIs, and give them the best education, give them the best options for treatment for short and long-term results. But when you look at results of any type of surgery for cervical herniated discs or, or disc herniations in the, in the neck, over 90% of patients who have surgery have significant relief for the symptoms they were struggling with. And if you're a patient who's been struggling with herniated discs, neck pain, I would urge you to visit our website, read our content, come to see us in the office so we can have a full discussion on your condition and give you the best options for treatment.